Hello, people of the internet, my name is Johnny, and welcome back to another Five Nights at Freddy's news video talking about security breach. This might not be SB week, which, by the way, for people who are waiting on day four, check my community tab. I made a post about what's happening with security breach week. Yeah, it's not SB week, but it is still news about the brand new game being made by Steel Wall Studios. If you remember sometime back in January, I believe it was, security breach was featured in one of NVIDIA's conferences. Right, people thought we were getting a second trailer, it turned out to just be a tech demo. Scott himself even confirmed that it wasn't a second trailer, just indeed a tech demo. And that was a couple months ago. But starting today, NVIDIA is hosting a game developers conference. A conference which, get this, allows game developers to come together and talk about brand new technologies being used in gaming. Some featured games include Cyberpunk 2077, Minecraft, Valorant, Destiny 2, Fortnite, Rainbow Six Siege, Overwatch, the topic of today's video, Five Nights at Freddy's Security Breach, Sniper Elite 4, Pumpkin Jack, and Crisis Remastered. And like I just said, it starts today and it runs for four days ending on the 16th. And Security Breach's section starts on the 15th at 11 a.m. EDT and ends 40 minutes later. 40 full minutes of security breach content. Now we've known this for a couple of weeks, but something we didn't know is what we were just gonna see in that 40 minutes. Well, just like a lot of other info on security breach, this conference was also leaked. Now to be fair, we all knew that we weren't really gonna get anything super special in this conference, so don't put your expectations up too high, especially because we now know basically exactly what we're getting. And I'll run through it right now. But just in case you're not already, double check, make sure you are subscribed to the channel. We've been talking a lot about security breach and on the 15th, I will be live streaming my reaction to the conference. And you don't wanna miss that because again, there's 40 minutes full of brand new info on FNAF security breach. So make sure you're subscribed. It takes like two seconds. Hit the like button while we're down there. Tell me in the comments down below, what are you most hyped about for the new game? And let's go over this schedule. So this is it. This is everything you can expect to see in the 40 minutes that security breach is on the conference. There are seven bullet points on the schedule. Let's start off with number one. Number one, A, show the FNAF security breach trailer at the start, roughly two minutes. Now, unfortunately, this is not a brand new trailer. If you go to that link, it brings you to the gameplay trailer we got back in February in the state of play. Number two, welcome everybody and introduce the developers of FNAF Security Breach, also about two minutes. Number three, start the discussion about the developer and the game. This will help us to get a further overview of things, roughly about 12 minutes. A, can you tell us more about Steel Wool? I played your last FNAF game on Oculus and parts of it scared me. I had to put it down at one point. You definitely seem to have a strong history with this game. So if you can't tell by now, this is a Q&A between Steel Wall Studios, and I'm guessing some higher up at NVIDIA, or whoever is the host of the presentation. What's it like to make not just a FNAF game, but the first modern FNAF using advanced technology? Steel Wall is a relatively small developer, and less than 20 people are making FNAF Security Breach. What do you think about where the industry is at today with team and project sizes? This blew my mind. This blew my mind. 20 people are working on Security Breach. No wonder it's taking them this long. The average classroom has more people than people working on the brand new FNAF title. Now, that does worry some people. And, I mean, I understand where people are coming from. Obviously, less than 20 people working on this big of a project is... Is, is concerning. And it most likely is the reason why we've seen so many delays. But to me, this is inspiring. I mean, think about it. FNAF Security Breach is being developed by less than 20 people, and it got featured alongside games such as Fortnite, and Minecraft, and the new Resident Evil game. I think, if anything, this shows that you don't need a huge frickin', you know, AAA company to make an amazing game. I think Steerwall is doing an amazing job, and I think there's a lot of people out there who hate on Steerwall just because the game has been delayed so many times, and we've waited like a year and a half of the game. But hopefully this perspective on how many people are working on the game can get people to understand, like, there's barely anybody working on this game, and they are putting their absolute best into it. I, I just think that's that's really inspiring, and I I have a new found huge appreciation to the team at Steel Wall. <clears throat> Moving on, number four, discuss the technology. Ray tracing is being used, and this is one of the first games to use RTX GI. It may be the first to use these technologies on a PS5. 12 minutes. 
What's the development been like? Walking with the PS5 and ray tracing is brand new and you're at the forefront of it. Has anything worked differently than you expected? You're one of the first developers to make use of RTX GI on multiple platforms. What sort of challenges have you encountered? From a technical perspective, talk about the platform differences. What have you learned are the development differences making game for both PS5 and RTX PC? Number five, talk about the fan base. This is a big game series made by a small developer, but it has millions of fans. Hands. Eight minutes? What has it been like? You've worked in this series before. What are the challenges of meeting the expectations of such a large fan base? I imagine that can be challenging. I'm very, very interested by how Steel Wool is going to reply to this because obviously a lot of people are on their butts about them releasing this game, releasing brand new info on it. Wrap up an open-ended discussion, five minutes. Anything else you want to cover that we haven't talked about or anything brought up before that could use more elaboration? If nothing in particular is highlighted, I'll go back over some of the prior subjects and ask more questions on it. And then thank the Steerwall developers by name and provide links to the latest on FNAF security breach. And then the final 15 to 20 minutes is open Q&A for the people watching. Now I'm concerned about this because I feel like it's just gonna be a bunch of people asking about lore or something stupid. This is a technology conference. We're here to talk about the technology of the game. We're not gonna ask about, ooh, who's actually Vanessa? You know, what's the, ha what's the hand at the end of the gameplay trailer? They're not gonna answer that, okay? I'm very concerned about the open Q&A because again, if it's, you know, FNAF fans watching, I don't think they're gonna be smart enough to realize, hey, maybe I should ask an actual question about the technology of the game instead of something ridiculous like the lore, which again, of course they can't answer. But everything else, I am excited about. I'm a little disappointed that we're not getting anything, but at the same time, I completely understand. I do hope we see something soon. I don't know if there's a new state of play going on anytime soon. I'm hoping we get a new scottgames.com teaser, because it's been over like six months. Very much, April. Seven. Jesus. No, eight. Yeah, it, it's been a long time. I think this is the longest we've gone without a ScottGames.com teaser, so hopefully we can get one soon. I don't know about a new trailer anytime soon. Uh, I think, if anything, it'll be like a release date reveal trailer with the price and the release date. I don't know when that's coming. I don't even know if that's going to be a thing. But I do hope we get something brand new soon, because I feel like... As annoying as the community is gonna be, they're gonna be upset about this. Like, this is not really meant for the public. This is, again, a conference between game developers. This isn't supposed to be, you know, the next trailer release date or something. This is supposed to be only for game developers. Even though it will be streamed on YouTube, and again, I will be streaming it myself, I just feel like the community and fan base is gonna be super annoying. Um, asking for more things. So, I mean, I love you guys. I love the community, but you can be a real pain in the butt sometimes. Like, be patient. There's 20 people working on this game. It is a freaking huge game, and of course they are working on it. So that is all the news we have on the conference. I'm sure we'll get more news on SB sometime after the conference. Specifically when, I'm not sure, but I do hope we get something soon, because the community... Uh, listen, I think the main reason why I would want something a bit after the conference is so that the community would just shut up and have something, you know? Anyways, that's it for me. I'll see you again on the 15th, 11 a.m. EDT for the stream. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you then.